How could this have happened? I can't believe we totally fell for it. Really? You all should be used to being deceived by now. Every episode someone tricks you. Oh boy, guys. Get ready because the next stand battle is going to be a long one. Like, spanning several episodes. We'll understand if you duck out for a while. Ah yes, the desert heat! So, global warming, am I right? Is the enemy stand the fucking sun? Oh Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun, Mr. Boiling Sun, please don't shine on me. OMG, the next stand really is the friggin' sun. I don't know if he'll be beaten, but I can guarantee you that auras will be abundant. Oh no, it's the sun! Having managed to halt the lover's invasive attack, Jotaro and company choose to avoid the political unrest in Iran and Iraq. Took a hard pass on Iran and Iraq, lol. Not even stands can deal with the Middle East political problems. You know, I'm the kind of guy who'd do almost anything for a pretty girl, even buy a car. My, aren't you sweet. How would you feel about the two of us having dinner sometime? <laughs> Sorry, Polnareff. I hate to interrupt when you're obviously so busy, but... No pussy for the Frenchie! Why you got a cock block like that, Joseph? Joseph Joestar, ruining your date night and your hairdo. Cock block overdrive! Try not to mess with the hair! Do you know how hard it is to make it look this good? As if anybody cares about your hairdo. Oh, I just thought you were born with your hair like that. Just wait 20 years, Polnareff, and then you'll realize how bad you look. Wait, no, let's make the whole episode about Polly's hair! Polnareff, your hair doesn't look good, and anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar. He has to remold his hair, I love it! How the literal fuck did Polnareff fix his hair that quick? What the fuck?! Same character. You're driving. Huh. Righto. Au revoir, mademoiselle. <sighs> Joseph, what happened the last time y'all let Polly drive? Stop letting Paul drive! In Tokyo, a house like one of these would cost three or four billion yen. However, for most people in this country, it's standard living. Though thanks to a thriving oil industry, it's grown into a playground for the rich. Well, yeah. Tokyo has an absurd lack of city space being an island country with a bunch of mountains. These people got bank! Standard living? Well, shit, can I move there? New York sucks. What's wrong, Kakyoin? It's... Nothing. I was just thinking about how open it is here. I know we could spot anyone following us, but I just can't shake the feeling that there's someone out there watching. Kakyoin, baby. There's always someone watching! You know, I've been apprehensive about getting anywhere near a plane. If a stand user attacked and the plane went down, we'd be putting innocent lives in harm's way. But if we had a Cessna, I could be the pilot. Joseph, what? Joseph, don't you dare fly a fucking plane! What the fuck is a Cessna? Joseph, uh, I realize Holly doesn't got a lot of time, but you really should have just taken the two days. Didn't they learn that they can't keep a vehicle without an enemy stand user either being it, crashing it, or both? Should we trust you, Joseph, when it comes to planes? You literally have bad luck with planes. Flying in a Cessna with a man who's been in three plane crashes. Yeah, that seems like a perfect idea to me. Joseph of Sass? Boy, I'm about to crash this car in a minute, leaping over Polnareff to whoop your ass. I can't blame Jotaro. He's seen Joseph's luck with an airplane. Jotaro, if you aren't going to be positive, shush! You know, for a dude who had a pilot for a father, Joseph had some awful luck with planes. Joseph did not fight elder demigods to be disrespected like this. As for payment, how about a trade for that car? <laughs> I couldn't possibly accept such a generous offer! Yeah, Mr. Joestar! And besides, you literally just bought that car! Joseph's a rich motherfucker. Joseph is a rich motherfucker. Do not question a housing module! First you'll say, What the fuck you think you're doing, old man? And then next I'll say, Fuck you, I do what I want! Polnareff is so offended he trade that car for camels. Same though. Talk about resale value. Jojo acting real American. What a reckless spending. We can't just write a check in this place. And cash isn't accepted here. In my experience, trading is far more effective in places such as these. If you try to buy safety for cheap in a time of emergency, you'll find yourself even worse off in the end. More buying and spending advice from wise old Joseph. Smart thinking, old Jojo. Whenever old man Joseph talks, I see and hear young Joseph. 
That's who he'll always be to me. Old man Joestar, ever the strange but clever bastard. My man's Joseph wise as fuck. This is true haggling. Like I said, make them sit and then get on. <laughs> you see, just like this. You make them sit and then you get on them. <laughs> Give me a minute. Any second this beast is gonna sit there and let me saddle up. Hey, sit down, would you? Never mind, I take it back. Old man Joseph is not as clever as I thought. Sit, boy! No, bad dog! That camel isn't having it. Gotta show them camels who's boss! Joseph? No. How is Joseph so cultured? Oh boy, JoJo characters riding camels through the desert. This was an image I didn't know I wanted until now. Camels are not that dang big. They're big, but not that big. I'd laugh at Joseph, but I know I couldn't do any better. I will have you know that I've watched Lawrence of Arabia three times now from start to finish. Although two of those times I slept through half of it. You learned to ride from a movie? So you're saying you've never actually ridden one before? And I learned how to shoot from a PS2 game. Joseph, I watch movies to get experienced Joestar. I fucking love dumb smartass Joseph. Joseph is a dumbass, I love him. Polnareff is slowly planning Joseph's murder and to be honest, I'm with him for this one. Joseph, I've seen Naruto and I don't know shit about being a ninja or landing a purple haired goddess. The saliva makes great sunscreen. The more you know. <laughs> yeah, this picture pretty much says everything you need to know about this scene. Other comments? Unnecessary. Okay, actually one more. JoJo's Bizarre Facial 2017. Did you know camels can close their nostrils to keep the sand out? And before I forget, you're forbidden from making stupid camel jokes! Is that understood? Why so many camel facts? Old man Jojo has mastered the art of riding a camel. Joseph Joestar, the camel trivia master. Joseph, these comments about the camels aren't helping your case. No camel jokes allowed? I guess I'm going to be pretty quiet tonight. Camels don't walk anything like horses. The front and back legs on either side move forward together so these things can sway a lot. If you find a way to ride with a camel's rhythm, I know you'll be just fine. Yeah! Hey, hey, wait! You're going too fast! Slow down! Listen to me, dammit! Yeah! I didn't tell you to go that way! This reminds me of how they once tried to use camels for the Pony Express because of the desert, but didn't because they were horrible animals to use. My sweet Jojo went from being intelligent to being a crazy ass grandpa. Poor man. I'm getting so much information from this show than I ever did in school. I forgot the educational portions of Jojo. Huh. Has it been that long since I've last seen Stardust Crusaders? I'm learning so much about camels tonight. Jotaro, Kakyoin, and Polnareff. I'm so done with this shit. I think Joseph is my favorite Joestar. Joseph Joestar, Master Camel Rider. Joseph, why are you in a The More You Know mode? Joseph, you learn from a movie. You are Jon Snow. Only in JoJo, 10 whole minutes of the show would be spent talking about camels. Something's wrong. Huh? I still haven't been able to shake the feeling that someone out there is watching us. Kakyui. Don't you think you might be worrying a bit too much? I mean, the palm leaves will erase our tracks. Plus, we can see it for kilometers in all directions. If someone were here, we'd know. They're still making tracks leading to you. What are people supposed to think? That they're nothing? The sun is a camera! Every time I see JoJo characters mounted on an animal, I cry wishing that I was watching Skill Ball Run. Palm trees to erase tracks, huh? Thanks! Someone out there is always watching you guys! We'll keep pressing forward until the sun goes down this evening, then stop to pitch our tents. It's much too dangerous for us to travel at night. Isn't night the safest time to travel in the desert? Well, Stan's mess with the variables. I only wish we could get out of this freaking heat! Just look at this! It's reading 50 degrees Celsius! Be mine on fire! Goddamn Celsius. Someone translate? They need to wear the Gerudo outfit for heat resistance. What the hell's going on? According to my watch, it's past 8 p.m. So why isn't the sun setting? This is impossible. The thermometer is jumping to 60 degrees Celsius. Jeez, I wonder why the sun isn't setting. Totally not like it's a stand. Totally not. Can't be. 
Obviously not. That sun is not normal! I'm American, so this talk of Celsius is lost on me. Paul, have you not been paying attention this entire adventure? Also, sunlight at night? This must be, uh... You already know where this is going. The sun's too hot. It's the work of... An enemy standal! For the Americans playing at home, 60 degrees Celsius is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a stand. Alright, whatever! Aside from everything I really dislike about this series, I do think the fact of none of them using imperial units of measurement, feet, inches, Fahrenheit, is kinda neat. No, the sun isn't setting at all. It's actually, it's actually rising higher in the west! Wait, could it be that that sun is really... a stand? Oh my god, the, the sun, sun is a stand? stand? Of course it's a fucking stand! If it isn't obvious, this is the sun tarot card. A sun stand? What? what? Reason why you can't look directly into the sun? Cause it's a fucking stand. It is I, the sun! That's not the sun, that's a Dragon Ball Z super move. My Prince Kakyoin was right. HA! Stand name, you are my sunshine. The stand is daylight savings time all along! Behold, my stand! How? The fuck do you get whipped into serving a vampire when you can summon the sun? Dio's dick is just that good. Lies and slander. We all know that's Jonathan's body, so that is Jonathan's dick. I love this stupid series so much. The sun is a stand? The sun's a stand. The sand's a stand. The heat's a stand. The camel's a stand. Polar F's hair is a stand. Trust nothing! With enough sunblock, they should be able to defeat the stand. Wait. Wait. Angry sun, is that you? The stand is the sun? So now the sun is a stand? This is truly bizarre. How the hell could that sun be a stand? <clears throat> We're such fools. How did we miss this? Yep, this fight is going to be very long, guys. Better get comfortable. Yeah, you'd think they'd notice somebody summoning the fucking sun, but Jojo proves us wrong. The thing is, a sauna can dangerously raise the body's temperature in minutes. Don't leave the poor camels to roast! I can't believe they would just leave those camels, though. Those poor camels. C'est des conneries! It's 70 degrees Celsius! And to add insult to injury, we can't tell if the stand is close or not! The distance is impossible to judge! Our only option here is to quickly take out the stand user. The user is probably one of the camels, or like one grain of floating sand. Jojo took out the accents, but Ponref speaks in French, so it's all good. A killer son in the 80s. Where have I seen this before? And to think that Camel was just four days away from retirement. Not the camels! You letting those camels die? R.I.P. little scorpion. The sun just finished scorpion. Fatality! You know it's hot when it's too hot for desert animals. There's something coming right at us! Before that happens, Emerald! No! Cut your in! The camel! And Jojo continues its stake of animal cruelty. OMG, did the camels just die? No! Poor camels! No, not the camel! Don't look at the sun! I've had nightmares about the sun exploding. This episode is bringing them back. It's like Mario all over again! No! The poor camels! Fools! You dare challenge the sun? That scorpion just turned into dust and Kakyoin just received death from above. Pour one out for that camel. Oh, wait, they kinda did. With the water that fell. Just lay low for now. We'll sit tight for a while and see what happens next. Hmm? <gasps> oh no, shit! Try and kill Joseph, that's fine. But put a hole in his favorite canteen? That's the fucking line. Oh no, just got upgraded to OH SHIT! I laughed when Joe 2.0 exclaimed, OH SHIT! And that's how we got here. They're literally steaming! It's like a dangerous game of finding Waldo. Or hiding from Waldo. That 100% wool uniform ain't too snazzy now, is it Jotaro? Damn, I guess you would say that the sun is... Hot. No. 
Shit. You know what would be nice to have in a situation like this? A car with air conditioning. That's just how living in Arizona is. I'm literally in the dark right now, so the fact that the stand du jour is apparently the fucking sun is kind of hilarious. I can't even use my best technique. It's crucial that I get more information. Jotaro! <laughs> Hmm, not as hammy as the Japanese dub. More like son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch? Eh? Eh? I'm not funny. The Jojo tradition will also not work, sadly. Jojo cursed like a sailor. Sheesh, tell him why you're mad, Gramps. You know you're in trouble when you can't use your Joestar technique. I just realized, aside from the danger to their bodies, isn't having a metal prosthetic hand extremely dangerous to have in a 70 plus Celsius heat? Episodes. Okay. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. We tripping balls. The tsunami music video playing a little early tonight. To be honest, this episode feels like a fever dream. These niggas are tripping balls. <laughs> what? The fog is happening. I just realized that Joltaro is wearing black in the desert. <laughs> Hey, Kakyoin, what's the matter? Kakyoin, what the hell are you laughing about? Hey, snap out of it already. Kakyoin has gone crazy. That is funny. Yeah, it is funny, isn't it? My poor boy has gone crazy. Dang, the most sane person lost their dang mind. Kakyoin has such a dorky laugh. I love it so much! <laughs> Jotaro! This is happening to you too! <laughs> you know something is up if Jotaro is laughing. Holy shit, that's the first time Jotaro's laughed! Uh, didn't he laugh in the previous episode though? All hope is lost the moment Jotaro finds some shit funny. J Jotaro's laughing? I'm scared! Rare sighting! Oh. I was gonna make a joke that they were gonna start hallucinating, but I guess that's what's happening. Jotaro's laughing like this is legitimately creepy. <laughs> pull, pull the rip! No! Not you too! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! They've all lost it! This damn heat has driven them all completely insane! I have my sanity, but what can I do? Okay, sure, let's go with that. Well, everyone snapped, deals won, game over, man, game over! Man, things are starting to get trippy. Oh dear. Now everyone but old man Joestar going insane. Not good. Looks the sun is frying their brains. Okay, they lost it. Yeah, this has gotta be insulting. I mean, damn, it's not even Dio that does everyone in. It's the goddamn sun. I'd be losing it too. Interesting to hear their maniacal laughter in dub form is good too. Oh god. They've lost their tiny fucking minds. Maybe it's Joseph who's hallucinating about them laughing. Last I heard, when women get hot, they fuck each other. But when men get hot, they go fucking crazy. Unless it's a yaoi. That feeling when the man who unknowingly peeped on his mother in the bath is the only one still sane. They laughing like some damn crackheads. Spit in their mouths, Jojo! Give them some water! When one person can't stop laughing in the group. I bet Polnareff didn't even know why they were laughing. Have a look at that rock over there! I don't follow you! Oh, you will. Now take a look at the rock that's sitting on the opposite side. There's a rock that's shaped exactly the same way, but it's on the opposite side. The shadow is also reversed, which means... Wait... Uh, two identical rocks... with opposite shadows... Um... Uh... Uh... Suddenly appear in thin air! Good grief, old man. 
You really are pathetic. I'll just assume that the intense heat was too much for you. Wait, you mean I was the crazy one? What the fuck just happened? Excuse you, but I'm still confused. When a problem comes along, you must throw a rock at it. Well, what do you know? It's a mirror. And look at this. Check out the little car he's got behind the mirror. It looks like it's rather comfy. There's even air conditioning. Man, I had no clue he was reflecting the desert and tailing us from behind him, this nifty little thing. He was smarter than I thought. I see he has a tank of water, too. How about we take it off his hands? Smoke and fucking mirrors! Son of a bitch! It was a mirror the entire time! When you thought you were gonna be the hero, but you had no idea how reflections worked. That car does look pretty comfy, Kekyoin. I kind of love this, though. I'm so confused right now, but I'm just gonna go with it. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't get it until it was almost too late. It was just a mirror? What? The gang is taking out more stand users more casually than I take out my garbage. Oh, and here's a drink. Man, Paul, think of the fucking backwash. Frenchie, that's called an indirect kiss. Don't take drinks from random strangers. We've already defeated the stand user? There's nothing else to do? We don't even know this guy's name. But somehow we've already made short work of his stand? Yes, you hit the nail on the head. The sun arc begins and ends as quickly. The sun. User, Arabia Fats. Retired. Is he telling their own plot holes? Well, that was fast. Stand user defeated without him having shown up. Oh, so... he was reflecting everything? Okay, son retired. Well, this guy was smart enough to not yell out his stand's ability, so he's smarter than most other villains. I love how Joseph is upset that they didn't follow typical shonen rules today. How anticlimactic. Joseph can't believe that they defeated the stand without getting a name! <laughs> Pour one out for Fats Domino. I did not see this twist coming, I have to admit. The sun retires. The sun. The biggest bitch ass stand in all of Standom. <laughs> Cheap trick. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, sorry. I had something stuck in my throat. Yeah, and with that idiot out of the way, it'll be sweet dreams tonight. <laughs> <Achoo>. <laughs> That badumts at the end, though. This was an interesting episode, lol. Even the narrator isn't on the joke. Okay, so to whoever cares, mainly because Arabia Fats was only in one episode, but his name is a take on Fats Domino. Also, Arabia Fats has voice credits for Manabu Sakamaki in the anime and Wataru Takagi in Heritage for the Future even though Arabia Fats didn't really have much of a speaking role. Another thing! Man, this guy has a bit of trivia despite being a one-shot. His name wasn't shown in the manga, but in side material. Yes, Paul. Sweet dreams. Foreshadowing.